Hey guys, welcome back. Here is that upper body workout I was talking about in the last video as promised. Now in today's workout, we got a little bit of everything to round out a solid full upper body training session. The goal for today's workout is to increase the weight each set while aiming to fall within the rep ranges given for each exercise. So starting off, we have bent over barbell rows. I am using an underhand grip closer to the body to get more lat engagement while also incorporating some bicep work in there as well. So you want to be bent over typically around 45 degrees, but basically before your lower back begins to round. I like to grip the bar right in line with my shoulders. So when I am standing straight up, my arms are right by my side. You also want to keep your spine neutral during this movement. So just like we don't want any excessive rounding in the lower back, we also don't want any excessive neck bend as well. So basically just avoid looking up at the ceiling or checking yourself out in the mirror for too long during your sets. So as you saw, the rep ranges for these are eight to 12. So this gives you a lot of room to increase the weight throughout your sets. If you ever reach a point where you can't go up anymore, but you have another set left, just use the same weight again instead. Next up is incline dumbbell chest press. The aim is 10 to 12 reps here, so a little less to play around with, but that's where really pushing yourself and choosing correct weight increments each set comes into play. Now I will say I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love the grab and go dumbbell situation with this exercise for a really easy setup, but I do personally prefer barbell or machines when it comes to my incline work more so because it just feels more controlled with my long arms. So when I do these, I have to keep my arms in a bit closer to my body. This allows me better control and keeps me tighter during the movement also allowing for better contact. And I like to always point things like that out to you guys so you remember that correct form comes in many slight variations. Everyone is built a little bit differently, everyone moves a little different, and so getting out of this textbook form mentality, forcing your body to move in a way you know feels wrong, and instead making small adjustments to your form when necessary from time to time to just help effectively target the muscle for your body will be a lot more beneficial to you long-term in your training career. And with that being said, moving into the next superset you guys are seeing right here is a back and shoulder superset starting off with narrow grip lap pull downs. The rep range aim is 10 to 12 with just three sets for these. So make sure you're increasing your weight each set if you can. Now for the shoulders, it's going to be these standing single bent arm lateral raises. I really like this variation of lateral raises to kind of mix it up from time to time. We got 12 to 15 rep ranges here. I always like to have my lateral raises in the higher rep range area just to really get them good each set. Now make sure you aren't starting too heavy right out the gate because you don't want to lose that control of the movement and start swinging the weight and tensing your neck and all that craziness. If anything, like I keep saying, if you got to stick with one weight for another set or even all of them, that is okay. The goal is to challenge yourself each set while maintaining good form and control, not just about increasing the weight just because. Next superset is going to target our arms. So first up, we got a two for one special with the alternate, alter, blah, blah, alternating hammer to bicep curl. There you go, Hunter. You are going to do one arm, then the next and alternating all the way through. So since it's two reps and one, technically I did the set 
set the rep ranges. Wow, I'm having a hard time speaking. I did set the rep ranges a bit lower than I normally would for bicep isolation work, but you'll see why when you do it. So you wanna aim for eight to 10 reps per side each set. And like everything else, up the weight each set if you can. And for the triceps, we got my favorite cable variation, which I'm sure you already know if you're not new here, the close grip V-bar attachment push down. So the rep range is 12 to 15 per set. Now lastly, I wanted to throw in my ab superset since I did do it this workout, so I figured I would film it for you all. It's the one I have shown a few times over on my channel, and that's because it's what I consistently do and actually enjoy. I rarely have the time or the energy for a full fancy ab circuit training after an entire lifting session, so I will do them periodically if I'm away or at home or feeling extra, extra motivated in the gym, but when it comes to my my weekly go-to that I'm consistently doing on a repeat. I do this two to three times a week at the end of a session. Now I normally do four sets of 25 for the cable crunches and then four sets of 15 for the lying leg raises. But for this workout, I did three sets of 15 reps for each of the exercises. So a little less than normally, but that's what I had time for this workout. And so that is what I programmed for all of you as well. It was still a very good healthy amount after all that other upper body work. So even though I am partial to my more broken down split, I will say this workout is pretty awesome. It's a great way to stimulate slash target a lot in one session while still being able to focus on strength at the same time. Now, if you are looking to do just full upper body days only, then you should have at least one more upper body day during your training week, focusing on other movements and prioritizing the muscle groups differently. So that way each session is complementing each other. So you build a well-rounded upper body. So if you like this workout, give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments below or on my Instagram. Also give this workout a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.